Tonight is the third year anniversary of Alex Nieto's brutal killing by the SFPD. But instead of a tragedy, we have turned it into a triumph, a transformation. We have unified community here. If you look around here, we're at the Brava Theater. And we've got May Day Carnaval organizers, Amor for Alex Nieto, Homi, and many different community members here together to commemorate Alex's life and also to kickstart the campaign for his memorial, which will be at Bernal Heights, at the last place where he was eating a burrito before police killed him. And so tonight is a night of community and also reflection, meditation, celebration as well.
You, you all out there, La Safra Mission, because that's where we're at right here. Okay? Yeah. You are the movement. Justice for Amilcar Perez Lopez is the movement. Justice for Mario Wood is the movement. Education is the movement. Our Alex Nieto Memorial is our movement so that history will never be erased. All right? Up on that hill, okay? Right here, you see it, okay? This is the exact spot where Alex Nieto was sitting when, for no reason, he was only eating a burrito. Somebody called the police on him. A stranger to the community where he had lived his entire life. So tonight, I'm gonna start by inviting you to take part in a beautiful song, all right? It is based on the United Farm Workers Anthem called De Colores. Sing along while we give Francisco a very warm welcome. Please, Francisco, come on up. And I want to ask Miguel Govea, please give it up for Miguel Govea, teaching us, accompanying us, and also amaze our sister over here, Susana Cortez, from the Grupo Adelante.
his, his final meal when he was having uh, that, the burrito. And essentially, we, wanted, we thought that that would be the ideal place. Firstly, it's the most beautiful spot on the entire hill. So we really wanted to commemorate that and ask people to take the walk down um, to the, uh, sort of his final resting place. So uh, the, the pedestal here is being held by, uh, sorry, the, the plaque is being held here by this pedestal. And the idea is that there are tiles. So the image that we see are, are, are colorful tiles uh, of his face. And on the other side, there will be the four directions. And since we really felt it was important to bring the, the energia and the amor, uh, the mission, into Vernal Hill, which, you know, to many people it's one and, and, and the same, uh, do you guys know the, uh, on the 24th Street Bar and the 16th Street Bar, there are those red and blue tiles? When you look down on the ground. So we wanted to have the pedestal to sort of, uh, this, this memorial to live uh, on sort of a circle that is an Olin. You guys know an Olin? The idea of, uh, of, of, of movimiento. So it would live around poured concrete and we would have um, masons come and work and provide the, the, uh, the mission tiles, as it were, in a circle around that pedestal. With, and it would live inside of an alien so that you know, people could come and have ceremony, people could come and bring flowers, people could come and, and adorn it uh, and, and be participators in that. So what I wanted to say is just that um, you know, uh, as we sort of really strive for justice. Uh, Ate and art, uh, our creative voices, is the moment where sometimes justice is imagined and then can catch up. Uh, so it's gonna really require a village to make this happen. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of, it, it's been designed uh, in a way that is capacious. There's enough space for people's participation. We need uh, you know, someone who's gonna work with bronze, uh, someone who knows laser cutters, we need people who know mural and tile work and masons to do these concrete work. So I really urge you all uh, to put in you know, your amor, put in your energy, your arte, uh, your resources to this because this is like Brother Benjamin was saying, this is going to be a world-class monument uh, and a real testament to the resilience of this community. So I urge you all to participate and uh, you know, I would say stay tuned. You know there's a lot more so I'll keep it short, I'll leave it there, uh, but just so much, so much love and thank you for this opportunity. I'm going to invite someone very special up here. His name is Antonio Theodore. All right. He is the man who actually saw Alex Nieto get killed by the police. He testified in court that he saw Alex Nieto with his hands in his pockets casually walking down the hill when the police, for no reason, accosted him and started blasting at him 59 times. Although his testimony was critiqued, the physical evidence does not lie. Alex Nieto's wrist bone was found in his jacket pocket, just like Antonio Theodore testified to in court. And what does that prove? Antonio was right, and the police lied that Alex Nieto always had his hands out and that had been, he had been pointing a taser at them. Antonio Theodore, it is my pleasure to invite him up here. He happens to be a musician with a group called Afrolicious, and he is going to bless us with an original song dedicated to Alex Nieto. Gracias. Let's give it up for Antonio. I'd like to say a special good evening to each and every one of you for coming out here and sharing your love energy for this amazing moment. Um, I never would wear a t-shirt with a face on it, with a man's face. <laughs> but I feel it's an honor to wear this t-shirt tonight. <laughs> Sorry, you had to go. I wish you would have stick around some more. Sorry, you had to go away. I would have liked to meet you in the park one day. I think maybe we would have been good friends. I'm all for Alex Nato. Visions of days that I had before. 
How long must I wait till I leave them once more? From my eyes behold, oh, I can't ignore. These are the days of warring and rumors of war. Rumors of war. We have to make a way in this time. Say we got to read between the lines. Stay away from the war and crime and you will be blessed. Materialistically, we are truly blind, thinking everything is fine. Praise God and live and all will manifest. Shine, I all that glitters, not gold. Don't gain the world and lose your soul. Shine, I want all what you see. Don't base your life living for vanity. Yeah. These are the days, yeah, days of your lives. Visions of days that I had before. How long must I wait till I live them once more? From my eyes behold, oh, I can't ignore. These are the days of warring and rumors of war, yeah. Rumors of war. Rightfully, everything is our own. Selfishness we don't condone. Say your father sitting on the throne. All his is yours. If your desire is to really earn, better make it your own concern. Set forth your goals and pursue with all costs. Success won't come least he try. Won't reach your heart if you hang them too high. Success we got to achieve. Move to the wheel and I'm sure you'll receive. Yeah. These are the days. Days of our life. Come live it. Come live it. Things are not the same. The system is just a material game. How I long to see. The village raising the children in the communities. We need these days or more. Come on, or bring back those days. Let's restore war. Oh, visions of days that I had before. How long must I wait till I live them once more? Oh, yeah. Aboard for Alex Nato. Now we have a couple of prized poets coming on up. Uh, Sandra, she is a straight up New Yorican San Fran Misionera, all right? You know, she got it all right there, all right? She is an award-winning poet published in many journals, magazines, and she has traveled throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Europe, doing her art, poesia. All right, let's give it up for Sandra Garcia Rivera. What's up, Pueblo? Shorty Rock up here. Working it out on the mic. Much love to La Familia. Much love for Alex Nieto. I am uh, humbled and honored to be here. Um, like Ben said, um, I'm not from the mission, right? But the mission adopted me sometime in the 90s, uh, particularly Mission Girls. And represent, once a mission girl, always a mission girl. And I'm super grateful because it has shaped me to be the woman that I am today. And though I did not know Alex personally, um, I was born and raised in the streets of New York City. Uh, we've lost many along the way as well. And unfortunately, this is an experience that I can relate to. Mira, ya estoy temblando. Okay. But I, I warn you, this poem is still writing itself. 
Mira, te voy a enseñar las páginas, cómo son. Ok, mira, números, palabras, diagrams. I'm still trying to figure out how this works. But I will share that it is from the heart. And, um, and it is actually, uh, so far, um, it was inspired by something that Ben said, or Ben wrote, it's more like it. I got a lot of respect for Ben as a poet and as a writer. And on the Facebook invite, he said, um, love is the movement, and it can only happen with all of us united here. And that moved me, and I decided that with that frame and with some of the things that he had started to write in that Facebook page, I was just going to start running with it. So that's what this is. Okay? The best I can do. Here we go. 59 reasons why love is the movement. Because the movement is oxygen and ocean, salt and sea. Where's number two? Perdóname. Okay. Because the movement is oxygen, ocean, salt, and sea. Because the movement is children playing in the street. Families eating around the same table without TV. Because affordable housing is the movement, immigrant-owned bodegas are the movement, team sports for teens, Friday night rides with familia, with homies, drama-free. Because Alex Nieto is the movement, because Amadou Diallo is the movement, because Sandra Bland is the movement, because Mario Woods is the movement, because Eleanor Bumpers is the movement, because Sean Bell is the movement. The movement is fueled by ancestors who died crossing the Atlantic in chains, who died crossing deserts to be reunited with kin. The government is not documenting this movement. The movement is our own stories in print, read by our children in free public schools. The movement is trying to get a book published. The movement is a day job and cashing a check. The movement is all our ancestors. The movement is we. The movement will not be locked down. The movement is free. The movement is gravity. The movement is in the classroom and the little girl who raises her hand. The movement raises her hand into a clenched fist. The movement is the little girl who knows to resist. Because the movement is trombones, because the movement is congas y bongoses, barriles y panderos, because guiros y checkeres, maracas y tamboras are the movement, because paintbrush and charcoal, aerosol and ink, because art is the movement, teatro campesino is the movement, Puerto Rican traveling theater is the movement, poetry is the movement, and words are the movement when they are followed by acts of resistance, because the movement is huelga and boycotts, because solidarity is the movement, político are not the movement. The Pueblo Unido is the movement. Dialogue and tolerance are the movement, though they are not the only answers. The movement is finding solutions without calling the cops. The movement is safe public parks making love after dark. The movement is raunchy backseat loving and loving yourself enough to use a condom. Because we make love from the scraps we have been given. Because we make arroz con andule and tostones. Because the movement is nacatamales. Because the movement is pan con chumpe. Because justice is the movement, because sobriety is the movement. Because the movement does not live at the bottom of a bottle of Bacardi. Because cigarettes are not the movement. The movement is tobacco and prayer ties. The movement is not processed or refined. It is raw and brown and it is unsweetened cacao. Laughter is medicine and so is sage and so is our movement. Healthy hearts are the movement. Fresh vegetables are the movement. Chicharrón is not the movement. <laughs> Clogged arteries and cholesterol block access to full hearts. The full moon is the movement. The movement is the tide, the dark side we carry on the inside. The movement is a hybrid. It is H2O, it is CO2. Pipelines are not the movement. The movement is water, the movement is life. 
The movement is our sun. The movement is our sons and how we keep them balanced in their orbits. The movement is our daughters reminding them they are diosas on an earthly path. The movement is breaking cycles of self-hate and self-destruction because decolonization is the movement. Abuelas and abuelos are the movement. Moms and dads are the movement. Tias and tios, primas and primos, homegirls and homeboys, big bros and little sisters, big sisters and little brothers are the movement because Borders like bullets are made to divide and destroy. Metal jackets and straight jackets are death to the soul. Because pavement is not strong enough to keep us down and our blood will fertilize like seeds because we are the survivors, we are the movement. Because we are stars and souls united are almighty. Because love is the foundation, love is the building blocks. Because love, love, our movement is made of love. Gracias. Amor para la familia, amor para la familia. Muchas gracias. And more wisdom will follow right now. My mentor, San Francisco Poet Laureate, Alejandro Murguia, San Francisco State University professor. He's also an award-winning author, published poet. He's here tonight to give us some of his love. Alejandro Murguia, por favor. Let's give him a good round of applause. Thank you, Ben, for putting together this uh, very memorable and uh, beautiful event and for all the good work that you've done for so many years in our community. And I want to thank all of you also for uh, being a part of this because as several poets have already, and artists have mentioned, that it's going to take our entire community to save our community. And I think that the writers, the poets, the artists, the muralists, the musicians, the dancers, uh, all have a part in it, and so I am very pleased to be able to be a part of that tonight. <clears throat> you know, we're living in kind of strange times where uh, the police, instead of perhaps catching criminals, are criminals themselves. And it's not that the community has made an enemy of the police, but I believe that sometimes the police has made an enemy of the community. And it's important for all of us to acknowledge that we all have a human right to peace and justice. And the case of Alex Nieto resonates, I think, it just not, it's more than just the police violence. It's also an aspect of the gentrification, the arsons, the displacement, the health disparities, the fact that so many of our young people are living in homeless conditions. So uh, Alex Nieto's uh, incident and his death and his assassination, I think, resonates on many, many, many ways. <clears throat> and um, I also want to say that it's very nice to be able to gather on this side of Valencia Street. <laughs> you know, on the other side of Valencia Street, they, they might call them hipsters, but on this side of Valencia Street, they're called lamesters. Well, well, that's what my abuelita calls them. <laughs> so I want to share uh, a newer poem uh, with you tonight. <clears throat> Part of what's going on when I travel across the city and I see at uh, this side everything run down, the roads have more potholes than the streets of Tegucigalpa, and then on the other side everything's perfectly paved, and then I realized that I'm living in Silicon City. Well, they evicted Mia from her storefront on Valencia. Then they burned down the apartments on 22nd Street. The good die young, and isn't it a pity? But the beat goes on in Silicon City. You're a stranger now in your hometown with strange faces on once familiar streets. 
and strange shadows at four o'clock and cops, strangers on a strange beat. And the days and nights are mostly gritty, but hey, it's okay. You're hanging in Silicon City. Now, I've been told that everything that rises must fall and that the wicked shall be denied. But nowadays, you don't know who to trust. And watch out, you don't get run over by a Google bus. <laughs> it bees that way, all down and dirty, in the heartless heart of Silicon City. Now, everybody knows the center cannot Hold, but prophecy is cheap and politicians are sneaky. So, baby, get your high heel sneakers and your black beret on because tonight we fight the powers in Silicon City. Presente. Presente y se rinde y se vende. I'm going to invite Paul Flores up here. He is, yes, we already know, right? He is the director, the writer of the play On the Hill. I am Alex Nieto which has run all over now, right? You see Santa Cruz, Oakland, here in La Mision, and they're gonna be traveling worldwide, baby. Let's give it up for Paul. <laughs> 1,600 people came to see this show, um, and then we had several representatives from city council come, and they were amazed that people cared this much about what happened to Alex Nieto to the point where um, we started harassing those city council members about getting this memorial um, up and approved and to the point where we had our own cast members testify to why it's important. So not only did this play impact the young and the old and the um, community, it also actually moved policy. So can we give a round of applause for art moving policy? Um, not too many art pieces are involved in changing laws. Uh, and that was our whole intention from the beginning. Um, as Ben wrote, there aren't any other memorials that um, acknowledge victims of police violence in California. There are none. This will be the first. You guys should give it up for that. Um, that's huge.
quieren a mi hijo. La comunidad la ha despertado, Padre. Unidos y juntos seguimos adelante. The trial wasn't the result we wanted, but you know what? It's great to see all of Alex's friends here tonight. Thank you. Once again, forward with our movement. Forward and upward. Roberto Hernandez, this man he has worked with, Cesar Chavez, all right, born and raised here in La Misión, the OG of the OGs, veterano of los más veteranos, my homeboy, Roberto Hernandez. Gracias, brother. Let's hear it up for Ben. They named uh, the Civic Center Auditorium after Bill Graham, who was some rock and roll promoter. They named uh, a bridge after Willie Brown. They named, you know, um, highways after um, um, uh, Highway Patrol, you know, and they named all these big, you know, buildings and freeways and, and streets, you know, and to see how the community had to go through just to get this, and, and, and had to go to the Board of Supervisors and the mayor and Park and Rec and the Ark, you know, for this, really? They should have renamed Bernal Heights Hill to Alex Nieto Hill. That's what they sh really should have done, you know? But with that said, you know what, one of the things that's so beautiful about that that I, I am blessed with, that I get to be a part of, 
since I was a chavalito is the Carnaval San Francisco. And you know, with the Carnaval, it's about heart, soul, spirit, body, and mind. You know, and people work all year long. You know, there's ceremonias like the danzantes, there's the santeros that do ceremonia, there's many different tradiciones that are practiced. And today you're gonna get a little something special uh, from a very beautiful sister, Brenda, that is about not only dancing, but she's about uh, bringing health awareness, revitalizing ourselves, loving ourselves, and transforming ourselves. So let's give, it, give her and uh, United Rhythms a, a big round of applause. Isla de gran riqueza, de cariño y belleza 
So this is about that time where you can be in Carnival. Five years old, seven years old, you can be in Carnival. You know, Mission Culture Center has classes, Dance Mission has classes. In fact, Local Bloco is housed out of here. So uh, you can always sign up with Local Bloco. There's, uh, this year we have 74 comparsas that are gonna be in the parade. It's actually the biggest we've had ever. And one of the things that we really uh, have done as a Carnaval team is to really encourage people to dance in the parade this year. We cannot allow fear and hate and all this other bullshit that's coming out of that clown's mouth, you know, put us and, and make us hide and, and, and fall asleep, you know, so. If you uh, haven't signed up for a class, sign up for a class. May 1st, si se puede. 
Si se puede. It's man, it's my this is fun for me tonight. This is you know, I grew up here in the Barra Mission and I grew up going to uh Caesar's Land Palace. I used to sneak in there when it was on Green Street, and I went to St. Peter's Hall, St. Paul's Hall, uh I went to the Transfer Club, I went to the Tropicana Club, and there was a band that started back then called Salsa Caliente. And Salsa Caliente is a band that's been around since I was a chavalo. And they're still around. All right, so let's give it up for Salsa Caliente's reunion. And Alex Nieto, Let's Jazz Ensemble.
Hello, is this mic on? Is this thing on? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Alex Nieto, that's what we're here for today. I knew Alex when he was a junior high school student. And uh, at that time, he lived in Bernal Heights, and he was working at Bernal Heights Community Center. Alex uh, helped the elderly at the seniors program there. When he went to high school, he told me that he wanted to be a probation officer. I was a probation officer for 25 years here at Juvie, where I used to get locked up as a kid. Anyways, Alex was a good kid. Uh, when he got to college, I told him, when you get to City College, man, let me know, and I'll get you an internship. Um, Alex got to City College, and all that time he was working with Ben. When he got to City, he was a community advocate, he worked for you, he wanted to become a probation officer. And um, I got him an internship at Judy, where I worked. He was an intern with us. Two weeks after he finished his internship, he was gone. Murder up here on Bernal Heights. So the media tried to villainize him and make him look like he had, he had been mentally unstable, that he was a gangbanger, that he, you know, all kinds of negative stuff about it, but none of that was true. Uh, they were following the, the, the mainstream party line for the police. And at the time, I was, I was kind of like caught in the middle because I was a probation officer, and at the town hall meeting that we had about him, um, I spoke out, and the chief of police was there, and I told everybody I was a probation officer, he was my intern, he was a good kid, contrary to everything that's in the news, that him being unstable, yada yada, that he pulled that taser out on the cops, that's why they shot him. Make a long story short, I put my career on the line. Shortly after that, I retired, but the thing about it was that his story lives on today. That's why we're here today, because Alex Nieto, his mom, his dad, I hope, you know, I mean, you can never get over something like that. But at the same time, we're here to put a memorial so nobody forgets the injustice that happened to one of ours. And so here we are for Alex Nieto. We're going to pay our hearts out. So you guys better come out here and dance your asses off. Because they're not going to sit, watch you guys sit and watch us play. You guys better get your asses up and dance and celebrate Alex's life. Because we're here to make a memorial for him. So while we're playing, you guys better get your asses up and dance, okay? Thank you very much. This is a good message from the local community division.
Let's go.